Hello everyone, Mark here with Mark's Max Muscle, and it is three-way comparison time once again. As we all know, or you should know if you're clicking on to a bodybuilding channel, that Brandon Curry won this year's Mr. Olympia. He took the gold medal, as you can see around his respective neck. And Hattie Shupin, way down there, took the bronze medal. He took third place. And of course, William Bonac took second. Now, let's have a little comparison here and see where I would place these three gentlemen based on these mandatory shots. And we're going to throw this front relaxed position in as a mandatory. Now, I understand that is a bit immature since there is the rear relaxed in the side positions, but this may change things. I have Brandon Curry winning this one. He has more wow. He has more pop. And if you ask me, he is the most aesthetically pleasing to the eye. Now, I do find fault in his physique for sure. His calves are tiny. But one thing Hattie Shupin is not doing is drawing that weak point out. He also has tiny, tiny little wee calves. Bonac has the best set of legs from top to bottom here. But his upper body, he just has a hard time dealing with the, the pec developments of the other two gentlemen. He's very unaesthetically pleasing. It, uh, Conditioning-wise, it appears Brendan Curry may be the best here, just judging by this pose, mind you. Of course, Hattie Shupin's conditioning is right there with him. But like I said, the aesthetics, Brendan Curry, more of a wow factor. He gets the two points in this system. Hattie Shupin takes the one-pointer. William Bonac, nothing. Here in the front double bicep, however, this may be a shocker to most of you. This version of William Bonac is getting the two points. Just incredible. Yes, he is the most aesthetic. This is unreal. He has the best set of arms, in my opinion. Look at those biceps. Rock hard. And I like the, the lines there. That is his massive lowly, lower inserted lats make there. Very nice. And he is bending at the knee, creating a uh, more of a flow, in my opinion. Now, Brendan Curry, I put him way down in third here. His biceps, yes, they are too big. I know many of you be maybe shaking your head. What do you mean? Well, have a look at the calves. His calves, I don't know how they hold that massive upper upper body up. Very tiny set of calves. Now, ditto to, to um, Hattie Shupin over there, but his arms aren't as big, so the proportions are a little bit better. This is a, <laughs> I'm here to tell you, a lot of people would vote this one different in the front double bicep, but this is where I have them placed. Brandon Curry gets the two points here in the front lat spread. Probably his best pose, in my opinion. I It appears uh, Hattie Shupin is almost right there with him in the upper body, except for the abs, not quite as good. And I believe he has a set of pointy elbows that is very evident in this and the arms definitely not quite as good as brendan curry's now in the lag department hattie shupin is probably winning excluding the calves it's always a william bonac game but upper body wise william bonac just unable like i said earlier unable to box with the upper bodies look at the pec developments of william or of uh, hattie shupin and brendan curry so Curry gets the two points here, and Hattie Shupin gets one. As these three gentlemen turn around to display their back developments, it appears William Bonac takes charge, lets the other two gentlemen know just who is boss around here. Definitely the most complete. Look at the arms, look at the back development, the glutes, best set of glutes. Hamstrings, second best, second best set of legs, as far as that's concerned. The best, most complete set of legs when, I, when you take the calves into consideration in the glutes and like i said the back development look at the lower lat insertions the very best set of arms unbeatable william bonac hattie shupin good back development not bad at all seems to be uh could use some more tightness there a little bit more striations in the lower back itself good set of glutes calves very weak very weak oh my goodness look at the champion look at him the glutes are as soft. Oh my goodness, are you telling me this man, Brendan Curry, took the title with those glutes and those calves? Atrocious. Simply atrocious. Let's have a look at the next back shot here, the rear lat spread. William Bonac, once again, 
uh, Hattie Shupin, pretty good in the back development itself, but when I look at the glutes and the calves. Brandon Curry, the least impressive here. We'll look at the glutes once again in those calves. Seems his lats are a little lopsided there. Good wide set of lats, but nothing doing. Look at... Oh. It's just atrocious. They give this man, he should be deducted two or three points because of these soft glutes. Anyway, I don't need to get my emotions mixed up into this. Let's turn these gentlemen around and finish this contest. Or at least halfways around to the side shots. In which case, this favors the least conditioned man, Brendan Curry. At least from the back shots. Now this, I have to get this off my chest. I was accused of not paying attention to the conditioning while I judge. Well, I got some comments and I'm not being uncivil here. I'm not being a, a battle face, so to speak. I'm just talking. I'm talking with a little, little spice of anger here. Now, yes, I do take conditioning into effect. But when the aesthetics goes that far down, then I, I, can, tell, I can tell you one thing. The conditioning is most important when all things are equal, but the judges seem to see fit to pick this Brendan Curry to win the title this year. But they, but I don't know anything about judging, but they somehow pick him, and he is not conditioned. And I say that, what do you call him there? Rolly Winkler should have won last year, but I got the comments, you need to pay, pay more attention to the conditioning. But, I, but here, here, the real judges, they don't. Anyway, anyway, I get a little bit upset. I missed my medication this morning. Hattie Shupin could have easily taken this one, except for those pointy elbows. Very unesthetic. Yes, I'm deducting a point because of pointy elbows. Bonac does not look good. Here in the side chest pose, or the side tricep, then I, I put uh, Brendan Curry here in the lead. His upper body is the most aesthetic. His lower body, biggest set of legs. And the calves don't look too bad. William Bonac, upper body looks pretty good here. Lags, not bad. He appears to be the most conditioned, but that chest, it brings an unesthetic quality about his physique, and I believe his rib cage as well. But it is close here between these two. Hattie Schupin gets no points. He has the best tricep itself, but he's, he's kicking back his calf, which is very highly inserted in one should only do things like this if one has a good set of calves, which he doesn't, so he gets no points. Hattie's excellent ab development does, however, fetch him one point here in the ab and thigh. I could have easily placed him dead last because of his overall silhouette, but with the best set of abs and the best set of thighs, I had to award him one point. William Bonac, very unesthetically pleasing ab and thigh, but he should be given a gold star here for the most improved ab and thigh. Do you remember last year, his ab and thigh? Just terrible. His waistline, very cinched in here. But if, as we pan back, take a, take a, a farther back look at these two, or at these three gentlemen here in this other shot, it's plain to see that Brendan Curry definitely deserves the win. And judging by this one, I should give Hattie zero points, but I'm going to stick with my original lineup. So Brendan Curry fetches a nice two points. Hattie Shupin will finish this contest off very strong in this most muscular. Those abs, that chest, the arms, and most importantly, those feathered quads really gets him the win over Brendan Curry in this one. Brendan Curry, very impressive in this pose. It uh, could honestly go either way. His arms are much more full and the longer biceps, creating a much more aesthetically pleasing look. William Bonac, once again, he struggles with that tiny clavicle, that very narrow shoulder base, and makes a very small set of pecs, I believe, and it hurts him badly in this pose. But anyway, this video has gone on. It's almost 10 minutes in, but these three-way judging, it, it takes a lot longer. But without further ado, I will reveal... I have William Bonac in third place, and it was a close contest, ladies and gentlemen. Hattie Schupin takes second, and your winner here, ladies and gentlemen, Brandon Curry. So, much like last year's lineup, I had Roly Winkler, the least conditioned set of glutes. I had him winning, and also Brandon Curry this year with the least conditioned set of glutes. I have him winning also, and I got a little bit upset earlier. I was accused of not paying attention 
to the conditioning, why would I dare vote for William Bonac? Well, I have, or Roly Winkler, rather. Well, here I have Brendan Curry winning the exact same situation. The professional judges voted for him. Hmm, hmm. But I hate to be too mean because I want your guys' views and I want you guys to tap that subscribe button. Please, please. Helps me a great deal. Increase my sub level. I'm maybe at a thousand now. I don't know. I am so excited. I am going to burst. Without you guys, this channel would not exist. I like your banter. I like when you argue with me about things. I like when you agree with me on things. Doesn't matter. Feel free to comment anything you want. But... Remember, have a good day.